supplement and complement word problems. So I'm going to go through and set all these up, and I'll solve one or two of them with you. Uh, before we get going, let's remember what a supplement and a complement is. Supplementary angles add to 180. Complementary angles add to 90. So remember that if I say I have an angle, it's 10 degrees. 180 minus x, or 180 minus 10, would be the supplement. So if the angle's 10, the supplement is 170. Notice they add to 180. For the complement, if my angle was 10 degrees, 90 minus x becomes 90 minus 10, I get 80. So a 10 degree angle and an 80 degree angle are complements. So in a word problem, when we see complement, we put in 90 minus x, and it, when we see supplement, we put in 180 minus x. Now as you do these questions, it's helpful to know that in mathematics, often certain words mean certain things. So when I see the word is, is means equal, right there. So if I say a half of a number is 10, I'm saying it's equal to 10. That is splits the equation into two halves. On the left side, I'm going to find an angle. That's my x. My x is an angle I'm looking for. I'm going to find an angle that is, that equals 42 less. Students often mess this up. They see 42 less, and they want to go 42 minus, because they realize that less means subtract. But the problem is, you're not subtracting 42 if you go 42 minus. 42 less means I'm going to subtract 42 from something. 42 less than its complement. So the complement we just talked about was 90 minus x. So up here I have 90 minus x. Now normally I'm going to put that in parentheses because sometimes I have to distribute and, and those parentheses aren't going to matter. But here there's nothing to distribute, so you don't even need to put the parentheses. What you would do then is combine like terms, x equals, and I'll go 90 minus 42, and I get 48. So this is 48 minus x. Now I have an x on both sides. The easy way to get rid of one of them uh, would be to get rid of the one on the right. I'll get rid of a minus x by adding x. I always like to add if I can. And I get 2x equals 48. And I'll divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. And if I divide by 2, I get x equals 24. So my angle is 24 degrees. Number two, the complement of an angle is 30 less than twice the angle. There's that word is again. Remember, is means equal. So on this side, I've got the complement of an angle. And I know that that's 90 minus x. And is, it's equal. Now I'm on the other side. 30 less. It's not 30 minus. 30 less means I'm going to subtract 30. So I'd like to put it after because I'm going to subtract 30 from something. Minus 30. I'm going to subtract 30 from twice the angle. Remember the angle is x because the complement is 90 minus x. So twice the angle would be 2x. Solve that and you'll know the angle. Number three, the supplement of an angle is, there's that word is again, that's my equal, three times as large as the complement of the angle. Find the angle. So the supplement, we just talked about this, the complement's 90 minus x, the supplement is 180 minus x. It is, it's equal. Three times, I'm going to take three times something, three times the complement. And the complement is 90 minus x. Now x is going to be my angle there. So all I need to do is distribute that three, get the x's on one side, and solve. So make sure you distribute.
Number four, the supplement of an angle is, there's my is again, four times the complement of the angle. The supplement of the angle, supplement is 180 minus the angle. The angle is my x. It is, it equals four times, I'm going to take four times something, four times the complement, four times 90 minus x. Find the measure of the complement. Now this is tricky here because students will get x and they'll think they're done. But that's not what it asks for. It asks for the complement. So here we have to distribute. I'll do this one with you. 180 minus x equals 4 times 90. Distribute 4 times 90, 4 times x, 360 minus 4x. We have variables in both sides. I'm going to add, I'm gonna either I'd add x to both sides or add 4x. I'd rather add 4x and get things positive. So this is 180 plus 3x equals 360. Now I've got to get the, let me write that up here, 180 plus 3x equals 360. Now I'll subtract 180 from both sides. So 3x will equal 180. And I'll divide both sides by 3. If I divide by 3, I get x equals 60. And that's my angle, is 60 degrees, but that is not the answer, because I'm going to find the measure of the complement. And the complement, we know, is 90 minus x. So in this case, it's 90 minus my angle, 60. So the answer to this question is actually 30 degrees. Find the measure of an angle that is half as large as its complement. So I'm looking for that is, because that will split this into two separate equations. There's my equals. Find the measure of an angle. I'm looking for an angle. That's my x. That is, so x equals half as large. I'm going to take half of something. I'll multiply it by half. I guess you could divide it by 2. Half as large as its complement. So the complement is 90 minus x. I'll help you a little bit on this. If it was me, I would get rid of fractions. And the way to get rid of fractions is to get rid of that 1 half. I need to multiply by something that cancels the 1 half. So I would multiply both sides by 2. So I'll multiply the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. Now you might think that you need to multiply the two to both. Students often do, but that's not way, the way you multiply. The order of operations says normally we multiply things left to right, and it's one at a time. But I can multiply in any order. Six times eight and eight times six is 48. It doesn't matter what order I multiply in. And remember that if I ask you to say take two times three times four, you do not take the two to both. It's not distributive property. Distributive property would be if you said 2 times 3 plus 4. So don't, when you're multiplying, multiply a pair at a time and then keep multiplying. This is 6 times 4, which ends up being 24. Same thing here. When I multiply by 2, I can multiply in any order. I would cancel those 2s. That just makes things easier. And I end up with 2x equals 90 minus x. Now you're going to want to, you know, add x to both sides and go on and solve. So you can finish that one up. Number six, find the measure of a supplement of an angle that is 12 more than twice the measure of the angle. We're getting a little bit more complement, complicated, but... Uh, you'll see if you're just careful, remember that is means equal, you can take it right out of the sentence. Find the measure of the supplement, 180 minus x. That is, that equals 12 more. 12 more means you're going to add 12 to something. 
So I'm going to have a plus 12 in my equation. 12 more than twice the angle. There's my x. So twice the angle would be 2x. So my equation is right here. Now you're going to find the measure of the angle. So x will be your answer. Same thing with number 5. You're just looking for the angle. Number 7. The complement of an angle is 30 less than 3 times the measure of the angle. Find the measure of the angle. Got an S in there. That's because it used to have two answers. The complement of an angle is, there's my equals. Complement of the angle is 90 minus x. It equals 30 less. 30 less is not 30 minus. It means you're going to subtract 30 from something. 30 less than 3 times the measure of the angle. The angle is x. 3 times that would be 3x. So it's 90 minus x equals 3x minus 30. You're just looking for the angle. Solve for x, and you got it. I will finish number 8 with you because this last part messes people up. Two fifths the measure of the complement. So you need to find the complement, and you're going to take two fifths of the complement. In mathematics, often the word of means multiply. If I say take two thirds of a number, you multiply it by two thirds. If I say take 20% of a number, you multiply by 20%, by 0.2. So here I'm going to take two fifths of the complement. I'll take the complement, whatever that is, and multiply it by two fifths. First of all, I have to find the angle. The angle is my x, there's my is, my equals. Let's give this a shot. The measure of the supplement, which is 180 minus x, is, it equals, 30 degrees less, you're going to subtract 30 from something, minus 30, 30 less than 5 times the complement, 5 times the complement, 5 times 90 minus x. The complement is 90 minus x. So we'll solve this. 180 minus x equals 450 minus 5x minus 30. Always simplify if you can. 180 minus x equals 420 minus 5x. There are variables on both sides. So I'm going to get rid of one. Either I add x to both sides or add 5x. I'd rather add 5x. So this is 180 plus 4x equals 420. Now I'll take a 180 off each side. And 420 minus 180 is 240. So this is 4x equals 240. Now I'll divide both sides by 4. So x will equal 60. So the angle is 60 degrees, but that's not the answer. The answer is two-fifths of the complement. So the complement, we know, is 90 minus x. 90 minus 60. So the complement is 30 degrees. Notice how those two angles add to 90. And what I want is two-fifths of the complement. Of, I'm going to multiply to take two-fifths of the complement. So I'm going to break 30 into five parts and take two of them. So just on your calculator, or you could use desmos.com, take two-fifths times 30, and you end up with 12. Now, you might be tempted to label this degrees, but it's not degrees because this isn't an angle. It's two-fifths of the complement. So you don't actually need to label this degrees. Do always label, though. If you're looking for an angle, make sure you label degrees. If, you're, if it's centimeters, feet, or miles, always label. Number nine. Three times the complement of an angle increased by 100 is 60 less than twice the supplement. Find the complement. 
3 times the complement of the angle, so I'm going to multiply by 3. The complement is going to be 90 minus x. Increase by 100, I'm going to add 100, increase it by 100. Is is equals 60 less. I'm going to take away 60 from something. And, oops, that's not supposed to be there. 60 less than, I suppose, twice the supplement. So I'm going to multiply the supplement, 180 minus x, by 2, twice that. So let's put this together. 3 times 90 minus x, 3 times the complement of an angle increased by 100, so I'm going to add 100, is, that's equals, 60 less, I'm going to take away 60 from something, 60 less than twice the supplement. 2 times 180 minus x. So we need to distribute, combine like terms, get all the x's on one side, and get the x by itself. Notice it says find the complement. So x will not be your answer. x is the angle. So I'm going to need to do 90 minus x to get the complement. Number 10, 12 more than twice the complement of an angle is 300 less than three times its supplement. Find the supplement. So again, here you're looking for the supplement, but first of all, you have to find the angle. So let's take it right out of the sentence. 12 more, I'm going to add 12. Twice the complement, so I'm going to multiply by 2, and the complement is 90 minus x is, so it equals 300 less. I'm going to subtract 300 from something. 3 times a supplement, that's 3 times 180 minus x. So let's do this. I'm going to add 12 to something. I like, I'm going to do it after, so I'm going to do twice the complement first. 2 times 90 minus x, 12, that's twice the complement, 12 more than that, I'm going to add 12, is is my equals, now I'm on the other side of the equation, 300 less, I'm going to subtract 300 from something, 3 times the supplement, so in front of that I'm going to have 3 times the supplement, 180 minus x. So again we have to distribute simplify, combine like terms and all that stuff, get the x's on one side, and get the x by itself. Once we get the x by itself, x is not the answer. I have to find the supplement. Once you get your x, what you need to do then is 180 minus x, because you're looking for the supplement, not just the angle, but the supplement. You have to find the angle first. So solve these things, figure them all out. I will put up a Google form where you can enter your answers and it will tell you if you're right or wrong. When you're done with this, take a picture of your assignment and upload it to Google Classroom.